So the first thing I'm going to be using is a white foundation and I'm going to be applying this all along the highlights of my face. So along my forehead, from the brow bone bringing it around, along the cheekbones and then also along my chin and jawline. Once I've done that I'm going to blend it out with my fingers and you can use a brush as well but you know that I prefer to use my fingers for this. Next I'm going to be doing some extremely harsh contouring and I'm going to be using two eyeshadows but if you want you can also use an ordinary contouring bronzer and I'm just going to be bringing this along the temples, underneath the jawline and then also just underneath the cheekbones but if you're not too sure how to do this you just want to suck in and pull your face into a little bit of a fish face and then bring that colour along and just get it to touch to the corner of the nose. We're also going to be using it to hollow out any parts of the body which would get very 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 skinny and protruding if you lost a considerable amount of weight. So you're going to want to move your neck around and your shoulders around to figure out what would end up protruding a lot if you lost a substantial amount of weight. So you want to bring that colour all the way along the jaw, also along your shoulder just so that there isn't a huge area which is completely unpainted. We want to try and get this all to blend together. So we want to bring this underneath the collarbone, around the shoulder, along the neck, a little bit along the back of your shoulders as well if you can, and blend it all out. And then at this point you should already start to see the difference, but from here we're going to move on to face paints. And I'm going to be using some face painting brushes, but you can use whatever kind of brushes you want. And then I'm going to mix the colours that I need to get the look. So I'm going to start off by mixing white with a little bit of light blue and we're going to be placing this on anywhere which would be highlighted or protruding. And you want to do this in big swipes at first just to figure out where you're going to be painting and then afterwards go over it and just do little swipes with a paintbrush to make it more like you look like a painting rather than blending it to perfection. For the rest of the face, what we're going to be doing is going ahead with a brown shade and I'm going to start at the corner of my nose and start hollowing out the rest of the face. So around the edges of the nose and then around the sockets of the eye and don't worry if it looks messy at the moment, just make big messy swipes at first just so that you've got a kind of guideline and then afterwards go over it with thinner lines and don't forget the ears, it will look very hard if the rest of your face is painted and then your ears are completely clean. For the eyebrows I'm going to be using white mascara and then putting that on my hair as well where there would be any kind of highlights and do this very roughly before going back to the light blue and doing all the highlights so along the nose, along the cheekbones and also along the forehead and we're also going to bring that colour along the ears as well and the hair just along the centre. In a corner of the eyes I'm going to be using a slightly pinkish red and just dabbling that there. I'm also going to put a tiny little bit on the outer corner of the eye as well. And we're going to finish off last with black, but be very careful not to put too much of black because it's one of those colours that once you've put it on and if you've put too much, it's very difficult to remove. So just do small swipes underneath the jaw, under the cheekbones and around the eyes. And that's it. You're done. <laughs>